you never really outgrow a car like the Volkswagen Golf GTI. An incredibly versatile machine, the GTI has all the space and comfort of any other VW Golf, but thanks to its well-executed performance enhancements, it's also terrific fun to drive. This all-in-one, hot but humble hatchback formula elevated the original GTI to icon status and it carries through to the 2016 Golf GTI. Last year's full redesign produced a noticeably more entertaining Volkswagen Golf GTI. Although not radically different in personality from recent forebears, the current model has more responsive steering and brakes that make it far more capable and enjoyable on roads with tight turns. Accelerating out of those turns is easier than ever, too. Thanks to a strong turbocharged 2.0-liter engine that makes this VW one of the quickest cars in its class. One of the few weak links in the 2015 model was the outdated audio navigation interface. And for 2016, that's where Volkswagen has turned its attention, giving every 2016 GDI an all-new technology interface. Although the touch screen is still modest in size just 6.5 inches, the new system supports voice-to-text messaging and both Android Auto and Apple CarPlay smartphone integration. Better yet, VW's outdated MDI cable has finally given way to a real USB input. Meanwhile, the optional driver assistance package has been stocked with additional driver aids, including adaptive cruise control lane departure warnings and a brake assist feature for the frontal collision warning system. Shoppers who place a high value on technology will undoubtedly be glad they waited a year to buy the Golf GTI. Combine the tech upgrades with a top quality interior and a stellar driving experience and this VW really is tough to beat. Still, depending on your priorities, you might want to look at the alternatives in this price range. For rowdier performance and handling, the Ford Focus Street sets the standard, even if its acceleration times are a few tenths of a second slower. It's less expensive, too, and offers a car row seats as a factory option. We're also fond of the smaller but highly customizable Mini Cooper S, which is still plenty fun to drive and now available in a four-door body style. The Subaru WRX is a good option if you want all-wheel drive, and if your budget is large, you could even think about the more exclusive Golf R. Any of these cars would be enjoyable to own, but if you're looking for a hot hatch that's as practical as it is engaging, the 2016 Volkswagen Golf GDI comes highly recommended. But its styles, trim levels, and options the 2016 Volkswagen Golf GDI is offered in two, and for door hatchback body styles, and both versions seat five. There are three trim levels, yes, southeast and auto bump. All season tires are standard across the board, and summer performance tires are a no-cost option. Standard features for the base GDI S2 door include 18-inch alloy wheels, lead fog lights, the rear spoiler, heated mirrors, cruise control, air conditioning, plaid cloth upholstery, heated front seats, a leather-wrapped tilt and telescoping steering wheel, rear 60 over 40 split folding rear seats with a center pass-through, a 6.5-inch touchscreen technology interface. Bluetooth phone and audio connectivity, smartphone integration via Android Auto and Apple CarPlay a USB input, the rear view camera, VW CarNet telematics and satellite radio. Four door versions of the GDI S also receive power reclining front seats. Available on all GTIs. The optional performance package includes an electronically controlled mechanical limited slip front differential, larger front and rear brakes and an additional 10 horsepower. Stepping up to the GDI Southeast trim adds a sunroof, automatic headlights and wipers, keyless ignition and entry, 
leather upholstery and a Fender Premium Audio System. The range topping GDI Autobahn trim tops off the features list with a navigation system, a 10-way power driver seat with two-way power lumber and dual-zone automatic climate control. Any GDI can be optioned with the lighting package, which upgrades you to adaptive B Xenon headlights and LED running lights. Optional on Southeast and Autopa models equipped with the performance package is dynamic chassis control, which provides driver adjustable adaptive shock absorbers and a larger rear stabilizer bar. Available on any Southeast or Autopa model, the driver assistance package adds adaptive cruise control, front and rear parking sensors, a frontal collision warning system with emergency brake assist lane departure warnings, blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alerts and automated parallel parking, power trains and performance of front wheel drive 2016 VW Golf GDI uses a turbocharged 2.0 liter four cylinder engine that produces 210 HP and 258 pound feet of torque. The optional performance package increases output to 220 HP. A 6-speed manual transmission is standard and a 6-speed automated manual VW DSG is optional. During Edmunds testing, a 4-door Golf GDI with the DSG transmission and performance package went from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 6.1 seconds. That's slightly quicker than average for a sporty compact car, and more than a second quicker than a standard Golf. The two-door GDI with the manual transmission and no performance package reached 60 miles per hour in 5.9 seconds. The EPA's estimates for fuel economy are 28 miles per gallon combined 25 city slash 30 for highway for the manual transmission and 28 miles per gallon combined 25 city slash 33 highway for the DSG. Safety standard safety features for the 2016 VW Golf GDI include anti lock disc brakes, automatic hill hold, stability and traction control front side airbags, side curtain airbags and a driver knee airbag. A post crash braking system is also standard and automatically applies the brakes after an impact to reduce the likelihood of a secondary crash. VW's CarNet Emergency Telematics is standard with features that include automatic crash notification, roadside assistance, remote vehicle access stolen vehicle location and geofencing which allows parents to set boundaries for teenage drivers. The rear view camera is standard, while front and rear parking sensors are part of the optional driver assistance package. Said package also includes a frontal collision warning system with a brake support feature that helps slow the car down when an impact is imminent lane departure warnings and blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alerts. In Edmunds tests, the Golf GDI fitted with optional summer tires came to a stop from 60 miles per hour in 107 feet which is a very good distance for an affordable performance car with summer tires. In government crash testing, the two-door GDI earned a full five stars for overall crash protection, with four stars for frontal impact safety and five stars for side impact protection. In Insurance Institute for Highway Safety Crash Testing, the related 2016 VW Golf earned the highest score of good in the moderate overlap and small overlap frontal offset impact tests. It also earned a good rating in the side impact, roof strength and seats slash head restraints whiplash protection tests. Interior design and special features you'll be smitten with the 2016 Volkswagen GDI's interior within 30 seconds of getting inside. It's just that good. Materials are well grained and soft to the touch, and the overall design is distinctly European, comfortable and sporty, thanks to bold red stitching.
buttons and switches are placed close to the driver and offer intuitive, simple control. Every 2016 GDI features a 6.5-inch touchscreen with all new software behind it. Autobot models also include navigation, but with standard Android Auto and Apple CarPlay compatibility across all trims, you really don't need a factory NAV system anymore provided you have a fairly new smartphone in hand. The touchscreen is still small compared to the 